Today's video is brought to you by ablmerch.com. I have all the latest hot new merchandise, about 20 new pieces, including the I Survived the Plandemic hats, t-shirts, stickers, mugs, and more through the link in the description box below. How's everybody doing? My name is Anthony Brian Logan, and today we got to talk about Saturday Night Live, or SNL as the cool kids call it, and the crazy reaction a lot of lefties had toward their skit when they were dealing with black folks and their hesitancy to get the vaccine. Now, I thought the skit was brilliant. It was very well done. It displayed a lot of what I see in my everyday life and online when it comes to black folks and the vaccine. We're skeptical. We don't really want to get it. That's generally what i see now i'm not saying it applies to everybody that's black and i'm not saying that it's only black folks that are hesitant to get the vaccine okay people of all colors around the world especially here in the u.s are kind of like well i don't know if i want to get that it just came out with it i'm still kind of skeptical but some people they're mad because they're saying, oh, this is stereotypical. It's without context, all this, that, and the third. Now, if you want to see the full clip for yourself, I'll link to that in the description box below. I can't play it right here. They're going to strike me immediately. But what I will be able to play is this clip that comes from, I think, thehill.com, where some person, some guy, did a report on it. I want to speak on what they said. They're going to show some video of this skit without the audio. But what's most important here is the audio that the reporter put on it. And also, I think there's a tweet from a so-called doctor we got to talk about. So without going too far into the rabbit hole, let's go ahead and roll the clip. In this clip, you're going to see all of what I just mentioned in a little bit more. After we get done with that, I'll talk about what was said there. Then I give you the rest of my two cents, my deep detail analysis, and then I wrap it on up with a nice bow on top. So without further ado... Let's go ahead and roll it. A recent Saturday Night Live skit about black people being scared to get vaccinated is triggering doctors, Business Insider reported. On the last SNL, which was hosted by Daniel Kaluuya, the black cast of SNL made fun of the black community's ignorance and cowardice of getting vaccinated. Let's pause right there. Ignorance and cowardice, did you hear that? This guy said that the SNL cast made fun of the black community's ignorance and cowardice when it comes to the vaccine. I mean, is it ignorance? I don't think so, because we know about the United States and their history of failed vaccinations, failed shots, things that don't grow right, medical trials that don't go right. OK, in this skit, they brought up Tuskegee. OK, they did bring that up. Now, Daniel Kaluuya, his character said, oh, that was a long time ago. No, it wasn't actually. OK, the experiment started in the 1930s, but did not end until the 1970s. My parents were teenagers in the 70s. My dad went to boot camp in Paris Island for the Marines in the 1970s. This was pretty recent. I'm in my 30s. So if my parents were teenagers in the 70s, I mean, come on, right? I was born in the, like, mid-80s. This is not really an old thing. And then you have Gardasil and Depo and other things. A lot of these um, clinical trials that you don't hear about, they get advertised in the black community or in poor white areas. You don't hear about those. You don't hear about how they go wrong. Okay. So it's not ignorance and it's not cowardice. You can't say it's cowardice when we see a bad track record in the United States of vaccines and shots and medical trials. And then we say, Hey, you know what? Maybe I don't want to take part in this. We've seen other ones go wrong. Other ones go bad. Maybe I don't want to take part in this. Sure, there may be a lot of people, not everybody, of course, because I think we just saw 234 people catch the virus after getting the vaccine and three of them died in Michigan. But I'll talk about that at a different time. A lot of people may have gotten the vaccine that may be OK for now. But what about the long term effects? OK, we've seen plenty of these commercials that say, did you take X, Y, and Z shot, X, Y, and Z vaccine? You may be entitled to compensation. Call one eight eight fix your hind parts today so this is not ignorance nor cowardice but i digress in the skit kaluuya is playing a doctor who is also hosting a game show for his family called will you take it hell nah 
the Black cast of actors said in response to getting vaccinated. The founder of Advancing Health Equity, Uche Blackstock, tweeted, quote, How did this skit even make it on air? It's deeply problematic, making fun of black folks declining the vaccine, end quote. Okay, now, this, this, is, this is a really kind of, I don't want to say it's funny, but it's typical of a lot of these so-called journalists. They'll, they'll put a tweet on the screen, and they won't even read the full tweet. He ended the tweet talking about end quote before the tweet was over with. Let's read it again. Let's try that one more time, shall we? Um, UJ Blackstock, are you African, American? Anyway, no, 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 NBC, SNL. How did this skit even make it on air? It's deeply problematic, making fun of black folks declining the vaccine, especially without any context. Well, yes, there was context. They brought up Tuskegee. That's context right there. That's a big part of the reason not just Tuskegee, but of mistrust of the government when it comes to vaccinations and other medical trials. That's a context right there. So, yes, there was context. Anyway, past and ongoing racism within and outside healthcare institutions. Okay, I mean, you could say Tuskegee was racism. So, again, there was context there. You all should know better by now. This tweet was just really dumb. I don't even know. The person should delete this because it's, it's inaccurate. It's dumb. Um, and really, the things that you say that you want were in the skit. It was a very, very well done skit, in my humble opinion. I don't see why anybody would really get triggered and butthurt about it. In New York City, 15% or less within the Latino and Black communities, representing about 29% and 24% of the city, respectively, have received their shots once. Well, okay, you hear that stat a lot, talking about we have not gotten the shot proportionally to our population percentage but the question is why is it because we just can't get it is it because there's racism going on that prevents us from getting it or is it because we don't really want it the same as other races of people maybe that's what's happening all right so you saw that you heard that and you heard my two cents in there i think that the skit was right on point and i think people understand the reason why we don't want to get this vaccine now some people they don't really get it or maybe they do get it and they're trying to convince us but i tell you what though um trying to use shaming language talking about oh you guys are ignorant and you're cowardly that's not going to get her done because all you're doing is insulting me you're insulting my intelligence that won't convince me to say hey you know what whoever did this report is right i should go out there and get this vaccine because it's going to be good for me and i shouldn't be afraid and i shouldn't be a coward that is not going to really get it done at all, okay? There's a history in this country and all around the world, quite frankly, of medical trials and vaccines and things of that nature that don't go right. So if the virus has 99.9% .9 survival rate, why would I put this vaccine in me that I don't know the effects of? I don't, I don't know what it can do to me in the short term necessarily or the long term. We've seen a bunch of crazy side effects. Now, some are going to say, oh, those are rare side effects. And, you know, it's like getting struck by lightning. OK, that's fine. What about the long term effects? They talk about long haulers of the virus, people that have weird symptoms long after they've had the virus originally. Well, what if I get this vaccine and I have a long term, you know, thing that happens much later in life? I mean, am I a coward for just looking at history, looking at recent history and saying, I might want to think twice. Okay, there's a vaccine from Johnson & Johnson. Didn't they just get caught up in a lawsuit over talcum powder causing ovarian cancer? And a lot of black women were affected by this. So I'm just saying, there's reasons behind not wanting to get the vaccine. And it's not even race specific. You know, this piece focused on race, the skit focused on race. And there's a specific reason in the general air among black people and that, that's the reason why we don't want to get it more than other races. But a lot of people are skeptical just by using common sense, not even because of past wrongs that were done to them. And, you know, people that they know, like the friends and family, not even that, just looking at it like, okay, they rushed this vaccine out there. They did it in like a year or six months. Maybe I don't want to get that. Okay, they're saying it's safe. How do I know that? They've said that other things are safe as well. They said asbestos was safe. They put it in kids' toys. Now they're talking about, oh, were you exposed to asbestos? You may be entitled to a claim for mesothelioma. Call 188-WE-MESSED-UP and get uh, a chance to get a fraction of a penny 
on a class action lawsuit. Is that really where you want to be? Maybe I'll take my chances with my regular immune system and see how that works. I'm not saying for you as a normie out there watching, I'm a normie too. I'm not saying that you should go out there and just decline the vaccine. I say do whatever you want to do. But what I don't like is the insulting and the shaming of those that decline. My body, my choice, right? Oh, well, only only at certain times does that make a difference. Only when you want to kill a baby is it my body, my choice. But when it comes to getting the vaccine, oh, you got to go out there and do it. And we're going to have a vaccine passport. And if you don't get the vaccine, you can't fly on the plane and all this and that and the third. But I think I'll leave that right there for now. And what say you? Have you seen the SNL skit? What did you think of it? Did you think that it was stereotyping black people? Was it insulting? Was it casting black folks as cowardly and ignorant? If that's your viewpoint, let me know why in the comments below. Or did it not cast black folks as cowardly, ignorant? Was it a common sense type thing? We've seen other vaccines and medical trials go wrong. So maybe the general thought process is, man, I don't really want to get that because there could be some potential problems. We've seen other problems with things like this in the past, in the recent history, not 100,000 years ago, not 1865 slavery ends. And I'm talking about the 80s. <laughs> I'm talking about if you are my age, your parents may have been injured by, it's people that are my age right now that have been injured by vaccines, shots, medical trials, and things of that nature getting all kind of weird and crazy side effects. Maybe we don't want to sign up for yet another thing that has just came out that is unproven in the long term. Even in the short term, it's kind of unproven because it's only been around since December. And it's what, April, been around for about three to four months. Maybe I'll just take my chances with my immune system and see how that goes for me. Maybe just maybe. But whatever your thoughts are, please let me know in the comments below. And that's all I got to say for this video. If you like what you heard, please comment, rate, share, and subscribe. Peace.